Hey, I just wanted to get, bring you guys an update on my Karatiki AF kind of build. Uh, oops, wrong button. If you look at the map there, you can see building up to the north. Anyways, what do we got here? We got a four buff beam with fire, and I think that's four mage minions, not five, but it's really, really hard to count them right now, but there might actually be five mage minions. A fighter hiding under there. Spider OP. Make sure you build one. I've got five and four archers on two 4D buff beams. Reflex here. I haven't needed a reflect here at all. And I've got a proximity mine trap as well as a gas trap. Proximity mine is to deal with dew as well as those kabols because they are bastards. And the other side, the other top is exactly symmetrical to this. And really the cool thing is you can just stay at one top corner and the other top corner holds itself really well. Uh, you know, especially once it's fully upgraded. Now, here at the south. Notice I've got my aura stack placed right here. I originally had it right here, but if you're going to put it right here on top of this, which is a cool place to put it, make sure you move this gas trap just back a bit. My gas trap was actually blocking things out of the uh, aura range. So definitely, if you're going to put them right on this corner of your auras up top, which gives you more height versus the wyverns, then put it right about here, I would say, your traps. And the buffs, very, very important thing to note, you want to push your buff beam as far in this direction as possible. And the thing is, you're going to have to use dual buff beams here to build this. What you're going to do is you're going to build everything first. You're going to put down a buff beam that's 5 DU and upgrade it once. And then you're going to place a second one upgrade at once so that it, you have to expand them first to be able to make them fit. Because the position that I built them in, they actually wouldn't fit on a 4 DU buff beam to begin with is kind of the idea. Uh, this proximity mine trap, I actually built it, I was really lazy, I rebuilt it afterwards, so preferably I would actually have moved it over here instead of up here. What it's doing though, the main point is it's staying out of the way of ogres, bunch up on the crystal here, you do not want the ogres bringing proximity mine trap counts. So that's the whole thing, is you just have to have it built far enough away, but if you do it properly the first time and put it, you know, somewhere right around here, and then, and then have it buffed on the buff beam, it'll be perfectly fine. But it also works out of it like that. Notice here, no strength drain, just two auras. The other one had three. We're going to use a darkness trap here along with gas. And, oh, I forgot to mention, of course, this is a shock beam just to make sure that nothing else gets through. Yeah, so that is the build. And I started on wave 12. Yes, I do believe it was wave 12, and I have not had a problem since. And let's turn post-processing back on and see if it can survive wave 16. Now this is not a 100% AFK build. What the hell did I just do? Oh, I turned damage numbers on. <laughs> nice. Anyways. Okay. So. Yeah, the only thing I do suggest is make sure you upgrade the top sides fully. On the bottom sides, you can see I upgraded both lightning auras. I upgraded the proximity mine. And I upgraded the strength main as well as the buff beam just only. And the main reason why I've done all those upgrades is just to keep them alive a bit longer, but also the lightning ore should be pretty obvious why I've upgraded that. This reflect beam here was only purely because I had the extra DU. I just had one left over and I was like, let's max it out. Why not? No reason not. The time Jin do go down to the south and I, so far, I had one sail, but it was... I had bad placements on that, like I pushed it out way too far because the beam was really lazy when rebuilding it. I didn't want to like sell a buff beam and everything, but since then I've changed it so I've been sell free for since then, which is at least a full round. Yeah, one round. I made a lot of changes. As you can see, absolutely nobody other at the top right other corner. I'm going to keep it that way. This build is not 100% AFKable though, to be clear on that. as health. Health is a very limiting thing with the strength drain. That is, but you use a strength drain ore there. So many times I've tried using darkness traps and the birds just kill me. The birds. The birds. Bird! And you heal super fast with all those made there. It's pretty awesome. You can take a little bit of a risk as long as you make it back alive without getting wet. <laughs> uh, you might think, why do I need to reflex here? You might not need to reflex, but based on previous testing I've had, too much stuff to straight down this aisle, archers, mages, whatever, and manage to hit those guys right there, dealing a ton of damage. But really, an extra 1 DU on each side is 2 DU. It's really small compared to the overall image on this map. I've managed to shave a lot of DU off by taking out useless traps, blah, 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 blah. 
boost my stat around three and a half value for tower attack. And you know, a two thirds of that for tower speed and K two to two point two K for health on or trap. Somewhere around there. The EV buff teams are just over four K as well as three K HP I do believe. So they get a lot of resistance for these minions, but they really haven't been needed yet. So but definitely have a really nice buff team. You have better auras than you look for. My auras right now are my weakest towers, other than traps. Even the apprentice has better stats than my aura right now. But it's because my aura keeps them extremely well balanced. I think I consider health is very important as well as your rate and your attack. So it definitely makes it a little bit harder to find armor as I'm not willing to sacrifice health the same way I can with the fancy apprentice. Uh, I have it on my... Is she, is she called? No, a death. There we go. I'm getting the names all mixed up. As you can see, yes, South has been holding really well. If you look at those proximity mine traps, they are not being triggered by the ogres, which is the important thing. Before, I had a placement where, well, I went over to one and there was 14 charges left out of 200 and whatever I started with. So that was not cool. But you can see those ores really low. Even the ensnares take a fair amount of damage. I don't really want to upgrading everything to one star because other times when I've done that, it has definitely hurt. Uh, as in attracted gin. But as you can see, we're already this is with three players in the game, mind you guys. Three players, so half of the slots are full. If you're playing solo, you're gonna get a slightly reduced mob count as well as weaker ogres, and I do believe gin are weaker as well, not on sensor. And that will definitely help with the health issues down there. But I really, really don't think, unless you have amazing HP, that you're going to be able to AFK at the later waves. But, you can come pretty damn close to being able to AFK in between the waves, so that is kind of the point of this build. All you have to do, really, is have a summoner out, and, yeah, and just remote repair with overload mode, overlord mode every now and again. Shazam, baby! I don't think anyone's going over to the other top side to repair it. No, it's still damaged, as you can see. This side takes so little damage, hilarious. <laughs> Look at that. That is ridiculous how little damage it's taken. Run around and kill some stuff, because that's kind of half the point of the game, or half the fun. Anyways, as you can see, that is the HP right there. Not too, too bad. Kill Daddy just because I can. These guys, traps, tons of detonations left, not even an issue. Although you can that there was getting pretty low, but I was right at the end of the game, and nothing actually would have died this way at all. No towers, so we're not doing too shabby yet. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I definitely have to turn off damage numbers. <laughs> you can't see anything with damage numbers on. I just like pointing that out, it's just so funny. And the other side to keep less damage. I really haven't understood the mechanics yet, guys, of how they decide which side they're going to on the bottom. But it seems like as if the right side gets slower than the left side more often. So far, that's kind of seeming to hold true. So, I don't know if there's like, if you can place your tower just a little bit, or your aura just a little more forward on one side and a little back on the other side, if that's going to impact things. But there you guys can go, that's actually really impressive, I managed to make wave 16 without a single issue or glitch. And I didn't even have to repair anything, like as you saw, once I went down there, I was just like, nope, didn't need repairs, just, well, <laughs> they needed repairs, they didn't need repairs to finish out the rest of the map. Wow. Wow. And Karatiki Jungle drops the drops now, note I am not playing the mix mode, this is just Nightmare Hard. Mix mode definitely increases the difficulty a bit. Uh, I really, 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 really don't want to test out mix mode build anytime soon. I have a feeling that mix mode will either require more stats to be successful, or it'll have some weird game breaking mechanic where it'll be like F you because either it'll be like the army of Kabuls just march through because they're immune to gas traps, or it'll be like a ton of wyverns come from. Now notice on the south two sides how their strength drains the center but not to the sides. That's because Pretty much no wyverns or birds come from, they all pass in the middle of the map and then come down into the crystal. That's kind of a fact you count on, and I can't remember if mixed mode hasn't come from the sides. I have not actually died to wyverns from that side, it would 
previous uh, experiments of this build, but but I have a feeling that could definitely be an issue. So anyways guys, hope you like this build, hope you, hopefully it works, I'm not going to keep recording, but I will definitely post in the comment descriptions what wave I managed to get to.